Hey guys, so there's this kid who has really scaly skin and he has to take a bath every single hour. What's up guys? My name is Dave Wobble and welcome to I.O. Okay, so do you have any birthmarks? Let me know down there. So like I said, we got this story about this kid by the name of Ari Wibowo. So I'm gonna show you guys the photos, but just to let you know, they're a little out there. So if you've got a weak stomach, Brace yourselves, here we go. This kid suffers from a really rare skin disease that causes his life to be really, really tough on him. Now he's got a skin condition called erythoderma. Now guys, this is a very, very sensitive story. Why? Because it looks like this kid is consistently living in pain. Now erythoderma is also known as red man syndrome and it's an inflammatory skin disease which pretty much causes the skin to become scaly and flake off. Now this is really hard for Ari to live a normal life life. Why? Because he actually has to bathe every single hour and apply lotion every three hours. Now the thing is if he doesn't do this, what will end up happening is he will freeze and seize up. His skin gets so dry that he can't even move. It can actually get so bad that he won't even be able to talk because it gets dry uh -huh. On top of this, this also causes his left hand to be deformed. Every 41 days, his skin actually sheds off like a snake. Now, Ari is 16 years old. He was actually born with this, you know, condition. Doctors from Indonesia say they do not have the resources to treat him. Ari lives in a village in Indonesia where he has trouble making friends. Why? Because people are afraid of him. Of course, they feel his skin condition is contagious. And of course, that village is very super as for the kid himself, when he's approached by news people and reporters, photographers, he's actually pretty open about his story and isn't very embarrassed. Stories like this, guys, I see stuff like this, I want to go out and help him, I want to help the world a little bit more, make it a safer place. But I want to know from you guys, have you guys seen or heard of any weird, you know, diseases that top this one? Let me know. Now for something completely different. Okay.